Dennis Weller, in his 1998 publication, Sinners and Saints, Caravaggio and his Dutch followers, writes, This beautiful and arresting work is one of Jan van Beilert's masterpieces, and certainly his most important picture in America. Mary Magdalene is first identified in Luke 8 as the woman out of whom went seven devils. She appears two more times in Scripture, at the crucifixion and the resurrection tomb. She is a dramatic example of the healing power of Christ's ministry. As such, numerous superstitions as well as plausible suppositions about her life have been perpetuated. One popular story portrays her as a woman of great wealth. Although there is no historical evidence of this, there may be an element of truth in the supposition, for as her name suggests, she was probably from Magdala, a commercially prosperous village on the Sea of Galilee. Von Beilert alludes to such wealth through the fine cloth and lustrous pearls, both symbols of material wealth. Overshadowed by a ministering angel, Mary Magdalene turns from the world, represented by the globe in the lower right corner, to Christ, represented by the crucifix. Whether the historical Mary relinquished great wealth is irrelevant. What the biblical account does confirm is that her willingness to follow Christ to Golgotha and her desire to return to the tomb indicates that for Mary, the nearness of the Savior held far more allure than the wealth of the world.